Can you tell us about Alec, like the injury and uh, what? Yeah, just um, really a lot of precaution here. Um, had some low back tightness a couple days before he threw after a bullpen. Um, you know, felt it loosen up a little bit to 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 kind of make his um, outing and um, just got done and just wasn't very good. Yeah. So he was able to, what, how much was he able to do in that? Line? I didn't get a pitch count. I know he finished his outing. I didn't get a pitch count, but um, I'm sure he got up to 50, probably 55, maybe somewhere around there. Rusty, from your experience, I mean, uh, 24 days. We know it is for everybody the same way. But um, just from your own catching experience, managing experience, um, do you have a, a playbook as to how to handle innings, you know, going in for your starting pitch? I mean, Yes and no. I think like we have a plan of, of you know, we understand it's going to be a unique season, but I think, or especially start of the season, but uh, every team's pretty much in that same boat. Um, we've got um, a lot of free agents late and guys still building up, but I also know that um, one game, you know, the plan can kind of go out the window and, and how you use guys and what who, who bounces back faster than others and how guys feel after their first outing or uh, and how many days off they might need. So it's going to be one of those. We're going to try to be flexible. I think that's uh, a quality I've really learned uh, early on in my managerial careers to to kind of just um, bob and weave with the adversity. And, and these guys do a really nice job of uh, staying prepared and working hard and communicating. My coaching staff communicates with all those guys. So we'll be on top of it, top of it as best we can. And um, you know, I know these guys are working hard and prepared. So that's that's all I worry about. What have you come to appreciate about a guy like Frank Schoendel who joined you guys late last season, made an impression, and now here in the opening day lineup? Uh, I mean, Frank's just one fun to have around. Like his his uh, energy, enthusiasm um, stands out every time you see him. He just uh, still feels like a kid that just loves to play baseball. Um, I think the what I appreciate most is his hitting. Um, from a manager standpoint, really hit. Um, his bat to ball skills are real. Uh, he's worked on his defense. He's a hard worker and goes out every day prepared and, and has really good at bats. Has anything changed over the years? Over the years for you, in terms of your appreciation for opening day. Yeah, yeah, uh, I get fans for the first time today in my opening day, so that's um, that's exciting one for me for sure. I mean, my first opening day was empty, um, both both, and then we kind of trickled fans in as the season got going. So, um, I mean, going back to my playing careers, I think I, right now I really feel the. Um, for the players that are here, I think it's a really big deal to make the opening day roster. Uh, I go back to um, my first time I got to um, make an opening day roster in L.A. Uh, Sean Green, we landed in the in L.A. and I still didn't know if I made the team. Sean Green um, sat behind me on the bus and he leans forward and he goes, Rossi, you know you made the team if they have a picture of you on the side of the stadium. So we drive in. So we drive into the stadium, and we're going all around the stadium. I'm like, son of a gun! Like I, I'm not on. I don't see it anywhere. We pull into the players' lot, and there's a big David Ross and uh, poster on the side of Dodger Stadium. So, like, I'm getting chills thinking about that. It's just like one of those things that you're you're you don't take for granted. Um, it's special for everybody. We have. Should I count like six or seven opening day guys here for the first time today? So like, I'm 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 gonna. Uh, actually announced that when I talked to the team and, and, and congratulate those guys. It's a really big deal and something that I think guys will never forget. We talked with you about Ethan Roberts, but just in general, how is it to give that meaning to so many guys? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, listen, like this job uh, has a lot of tough conversations, but the, the good ones are, the, are probably the, the most enjoyable and, and you take them all in and, and you let all the coaches be a part of that. Like it's, you know, we have um, a lot of adversity and in, in, in roster stuff a lot of the times for guys up and down and, and it's never good to, to deliver that news. So when you get to deliver good news to guys that have never heard it before, it's special and um, the look on his face that uh, you guys captured was really, really cool and um, I wish everybody could see when I when I get to call some of those guys in my office, not everybody gets to happen in the dugout and uh, when you call them in their office and um, the the relief, the joy, the then for the next 30 minutes they're on their phone walking around the clubhouse texting family and calling friends. So uh, really cool moments. What should uh, people expect of the 2022 Cubs? What are your expectations? What should fans expect? 
Uh, my expectations is for us to uh, win ball games. I mean, like we're going to go out and compete really hard. I think it's a fun group. Uh, it's a it's a group that uh, gets along. A guy, a group is still growing together. Uh, short spring training, and uh, these guys come to work every single day. Um, we're going to go out and try to compete every single day. I think the goal here is to win championships, as I always say. So we're going to work towards that. We're going to be better at the end than we are uh, right now. I'm, I'm sure of that. And um, I think we got a lot of talent. Yeah, speak to the you know, six or seven new guys for opening the day, but then also speak to an experience of the roster. How does your mindset kind of change when you're managing such an experience for the first time? That's a really good through 160. I think opening day is unique outside of experience. I think those are two different things. So um, I think we've got um, guys that are exciting about opening day, but they still, they've competed in this stadium in front of fans. And so um, there's only a few of those guys that haven't. So I'm not worried about that too much. Uh, but the young guys, you try to get, you know, uh, a softer landing maybe, or, or make sure to match them up and things go wrong. Make sure you put your arm around them and love them. Tell them we got a long, long uh, journey ahead. And um, if things go well, you put your arm around them. Say, hey, we got a lot of adversity ahead. <laughs> you know, uh, this is a, this is a, this is one of those uh, uh, marathon roller coasters that um, I think uh, experience will bring knowledge. But um, until until we get to um, guys having that experience, um, you just try to try to use your. Uh, my experiences and, and our coaches' experiences to try to help them along and be the best major leaguers they can. As the manager, is there some sort of joy in knowing that you get to help them write a story of a season that you know hasn't unfolded yet? Absolutely, absolutely. I think that's the the perks of the job is that like I'm. That I'm, I'm in the team. We're all with this one big family that we're fixing to embark on uh, a six, seven month journey, hopefully. And um, there's a lot of ups and downs within that. And, and, and they know that, and guys that have been around that. But um, the only way to get through that is sticking together, um, kind of lifting each other up through the through the, the good and the bad times and, and trying to help each other along. And we're all going to hit bumps in the roads. And, and we got to learn from those experiences and try to get better. From a, from with, I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> um, with you know some of the changeover in the roster in the last year, some of the you know players being less experienced um, going into the season over the last few weeks, what have you seen as far as where the veteran leadership is coming from? Um, I think Jay Hay is a guy. Um, obviously, been around a long time. Um, uh, Chavez, Chavi, Chavi won't leave the cage. Like he's, he, I don't know if he thinks he's going to get in at bat or something. I have no idea. But uh, he's in every meeting. He's in every. Um, just he'll throw his bullpen and watch every other bullpen. Um, we have those guys. Stro, his work ethic stands out uh, when he walks around the clubhouse and his presence. Uh, Nico has a way about him that I think. Um, uh, delivers a lot of leadership and, and qualities and people that uh, you, you kind of you feel like he's a veteran and, and this is his you know other than the 2020 season this is his first opening day of just being a part with fans and stuff so um, we've got a lot of a lot of guys Kyle obviously with the, the way he goes about his stuff our bullpen I don't have to worry about it at all we've got ton of tons of leadership down there uh, and see why does a really nice job it, it's a it's a really good group you guys will get to know now you're back in the clubhouse you'll get to see uh, what a what a fun group this is and, and guys have been around and um, you know, I think they're they understand that this is a this is a unique place to play, and and, and they really feel fortunate. Especially those guys come from or, or other organizations, walk around the clubhouse yesterday. Uh, you could tell the excitement on their face about the, the the setup here. I know spring training results can be misleading, but from a development standpoint, <clears throat> did you start to see some things starting to sync up? Whether it be the six or seven guys that are making their opening day debuts to the young guys that might be starting the, the, the their season at. Class A that there's the younger group. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> definitely. Well, I, I think like because of how things started, I was down in Arizona on the backfields with you no know, major league players there yet, so I got to watch a lot of the the guys that uh, are coming or that you hear about and, and put eyes on them, and then to watch them uh, come over uh, pretty consistently there towards the end and get some at bats was fun, fun and exciting. But you see some momentum, especially when Jed always talks about building the next great Cubs team. Yeah, I mean, uh, momentum, I mean, it's so far, like, my focus, Gonzo, was, like, on our team getting better. But I think there was, like I said, excitement would probably be the word I would use. David, what are they saying about getting the game in today, and maybe even tomorrow, too? Um, I haven't, I'm focused on today, um, but everything I've heard is it would just be light rain. Okay. 